Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Stephanie Girl Next Door coming back to you with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss an updated list of my pros and cons of pixie cuts. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So glad you're still tuning in, you're still here. And this video is actually about my pros and cons about pixie cuts. Now I realize I have done a list of pros and cons for pixie cuts before, but that video was like three or four years ago at this point, and I definitely wanted to give you guys an updated list, especially since I'm currently dealing with this short hair situation again. So here we go, here's my updated list. Let's get right into it. Um, so my first pro is that it is something different. Now, I think we all know the situation when you're completely bored with your hair. I'm a person who likes to experiment, who always change it up, to always look different. Usually, I tend to cut my hair off when it's been sort of on the longer side for a while, and I'm really feeling like I want to look cool again and badass and radical or whatever. And then usually I um, start looking at pixie cuts and then eventually make the chop. Whatever it is, unless you've had your hair short for a long time, um, a pixie cut will definitely change up your look completely. There are so many examples out there where somebody completely changes the way they look when they just chop off their hair. It may be a small change like from long hair to like shoulder length or um, and maybe something like shoulder length to a bob, like smaller things like that. But once you go pixie, you really, really do look different and then you feel different too and your whole style changes and adapts to it. At least it's what it does for me. Um, but yeah, so that's my number one pro. And for me, that's definitely a pro. I love to look different. So looking different is the reason why I usually cut my hair off. And so pixie cut will do that for you. So number one pro, you'll look different. Now let's go in here with a con. Um, so one of the cons about pixie cuts is, well, it's kind of there for a long time. So it is kind of going hand in hand with that first pro that I just talked about, the whole look different. Well, once you make that chop, you will look that way in that, that different way, but then that way for a long time. Um, so a pixie cut, obviously that is going to be the thing everybody says in these videos, but yeah, it's true. Pixie cuts take forever to grow out and while you're growing it out, you will look pretty much the same throughout that. Um, obviously you can change it up once it gets a little bit longer, like with me today. Um, you can curl it and tuck it behind and do crazy things to it. But while it's growing out, when you go for a really short one and while it is still that short, there's nothing you can do but just kind of go with it every day. If it's really, really short, like a short radical pixie cut, um, like mine was in the very beginning of this whole journey, there was basically nothing I could do. Yeah, you can maybe swoop it over a little bit, you can have it down a little bit if your hair is even long enough to do that. But with a short pixie cut, once you make that chop, that's what you look like for a while. So you better get used to it. <laughs> okay, now let's go back to a pro. Another pro of pixie cuts is that Oh my gosh, you will love saving time drying your hair. Now, let me get this straight. It's not like having a pixie cut saves you a lot of time. That's what everybody likes to say. It saves you time. It actually doesn't. When you really weigh out the, um, you know, instances where you save time and where you have to invest more time into your pixie cut, um, I don't really think there is much of a difference. If anything, I think a, mix a pixie cut is more maintenance. Um, however, when you talk about uh, washing your hair or getting it wet and then drying it again, that part is so nice. And I absolutely love it, loved it when it was even shorter, when it didn't take even this long. So that is going to be something you're going to love. However, here's a con for you, maintenance. On the other hand, there is no such thing as waking up in the morning um, and just kind of like, all right, good to go. At least for me, that wasn't the case. Uh, I, I've heard of people saying, hey, when well, my hair is short, and again, it depends on how short it is really, um, but if it's like a certain length where it can still make that weird cow lick in the morning, but it's not long enough to put it like in a bun or something, you're in that awful in-between stage, like yours truly, where there really isn't anything you could do but style it or look awful all day. 
Um, but yeah, for me, there isn't like a different option than to style it. So the maintenance is definitely higher. And all the pixies that I have had so far, the hair has always been kind of long enough so that I had to style it and that it could be messed up and cowlicked and all of that good stuff. But um, it's never been so short that I could just kind of um, not do anything to it and the hair being too short for, for it to get messed up. So depending on your pixie, maintenance can be a bitch, not gonna lie. Now back to a pro, um, attention. You will get so much attention once you have your pixie cut. Um, so that depends on your personality. I personally always enjoy it, I'm not gonna lie. Especially if I put a lot of time and thought into like what hair I want. Like if it's long, there isn't really anything you do. You just kind of let it grow. I mean, you might have a style of bangs or whatever, but generally long hair is just kind of long. But with a pixie cut, there's so many different styles and versions and cuts that you could get. Um, so I always put a lot of time and effort into figuring out what pixie do I want, what style, um, how will I do it every day, how long do I want the sides and the top and this and that. So first of all, a lot of attention to detail has gone into which cut to get in the first place. And then, like I said previously, you will have to worry about um, styling it and, and um, you know, maintaining that style over the day. So if it's super windy, you might have to touch up several times or if, again, you're wearing a hat, you probably have to style it all over again if you care about that. You will do a lot of things to it and it is really nice to get the attention for it. Um, and again, I'm not saying that long hair doesn't require attention if you put like complicated braids in there or something all the more power to you, that's awesome. I personally loved doing that when my hair was long. I will get back to it again once my hair is long again. But um, for a pixie cut, it just draws attention to you because it is something different um, and it just looks so badass. To bring it back, sorry, a lot of rambling, but um, you will get a lot of attention from having your pixie cut. Now on the negative side, I already kind of talked about it, but here's the thing. I like hats, okay, uh, especially in the winter time. I'm a hat person. I like to wear a hat like basically all the time. Um, in the summertime, especially in Oklahoma, um, you will have to worry about covering your head um, and wearing something on top of your head. Otherwise, your skull will burn. But with a pixie cut, again, depending on what style you have, I'm just going by what, I, what style I had. But my style was never the kind that was so Emma Watson in the beginning of her pixie cut cropped short that I could just wear whatever and it was so short that nothing made it look different anyway. But I usually had a little bit of something up here and I would always style it and then it would always look, um, well, really bad <laughs> when I put a hat on or a baseball cap or whatever. Um, it just it was just flattened down, all the volume was gone. I mean, I struggle with volume in my fine thin hair anyway. But uh, especially, yeah, when, when you wear a hat all day, there's just no saving it. Again, in the winter time, if you wear a hat and you just wanna keep that on, cool, but once you take it off, your hair is just going to be a mess and you just need to know about that. Now, here is another positive point, um, one that I personally used to enjoy very much in my younger years when I had short hair. But uh, since I've been kind of like a grown up, um, I haven't really taken advantage of that cool thing about pixie cuts, not too much anyway, but um, it is the versatility. So with a pixie cut, like I said, you kind of have to get used to looking that certain way once your hair is short, like you have short hair now and you can't just snap your fingers and un cut your hair. With pixie cuts, you have to keep them up, right? So I guess that's kind of a, a negative in itself. But on the positive side, it will allow you to um, try around with your style quite a bit. For example, four years ago, when I last had my pixie cuts, I had, I think, three or four, three different pixie cuts within like just a few months. Just because your hair grows out and once your hair is so short, every little bit that it grows out, you will notice much more. And so what that allows you to do is try different styles of pixies. So you get a certain pixie cut you like and then it grows out and then you can maybe try a different one. Maybe you can try like a side cut, an undercut, just shaved sides and longer on top. And then the next time you just kind of let the sides grow a little more and just get a small trim. Or then you cut the, the top short again or whatever you want to do right now for some odd reason, mullets are in apparently, which I don't understand at all because I think they look god awful. Yeah, I mean, if that's something you want to experiment with, 
all the more power to you. Um, you could easily let your pixie cut grow into a mullet and then congratulations, you've tried that style. Accomplishment. The point is you can try so many things um, in terms of short hair styles and pixie cuts or undercuts or buzz cuts or whatever and it will just grow out like that just a few weeks and it's basically back to basics and you get to try again so if you didn't want uh, if you didn't like one of the styles you tried out in a few weeks you're just back to baseline and you can try all over again and that's awesome on the other side and i already kind of mentioned it but a negative of that whole thing is unfortunately it takes a lot a lot of maintenance to keep your hair short like whenever i talk about the growing out phase which is the most awful part and trust me i'm in it right now and i'm in the most awful part of it so oh i know what i'm talking about but while you're not in that phase yet maybe you just did it and you want to keep it short or um, you just, you know, want to experiment or whatever it is, you have to go to the hairdresser a lot. So um, I think most people say every six to eight weeks, I would say that's about right. By that time, your hair has already kind of grown out. Um, so you have to keep it up a lot. Um, so that's a lot of money, a lot of time you have to invest. But then also something to think about is that um, you know, if you go every six to eight weeks when your hair is so short, every little, every little tiny bit, you will see, you will notice that on your hair. So right now my hair hasn't grown all that much since it was short, but man, you really see the difference from how it was in the beginning. Um, you can definitely see it by the roots. The last time I dyed my hair blonde, um, I made that video about, I might just blend it in down here. It hasn't really been a long time in terms of hair, you know, when your hair is long, you can go a long time without it, you know, you really noticing anything because once it's that long, a little bit of growth, you won't notice when it's in this length, you will definitely notice. And so, um, while you are in between haircuts, a grown out pixie just looks awful. I'm sorry. There is like hardly anybody who can pull it off. Yeah. So with a pixie cut, even when you want to keep it short, unless you want to go every month, um, by the end of it, once you're going towards week four or five, your hair is already going to look bad and you're still going to have to wait for like a week or two until you go to the hairdresser. So even though you, your maintenance is like six to eight weeks, but there is going to be a period of time within that six to eight weeks that it already kind of looks grown out and not super good. Those are just my um, pros and cons for y'all. Um, I would definitely say this time around it was fun. It always is fun to cut my hair short. Um, it was a bit more of a spur of the moment thing for me. I had done a little bit of thinking, a little bit of research and really, really thought that this was what I wanted. I think in the end it was just kind of um, an impulse and I just cut it all short. I think what would have been the right thing for me this time would have been like a cool shaggy like uh, bob or right now what's really um, on trend is these 70s um, layered cuts with the bangs and then like all these layers just a few years ago that was like no oh my god ah, layers no but now that's like the thing again the sort of 70s style and I'm personally really enjoying that um, on people and so I feel like I should have experimented with those long hair current trends and then if I still would have been sick of my sh my long hair I could have still cut it short then I feel like I kind of missed out on some of that experimentation because right now I'm dying to have that like longer hair with all the layers in it however I made this decision I'm kind of loving today's hair by the way um, I've had it like this yesterday too um, I do look a little bit like a grandma on this side, but I'm loving this side. I think that looks so cute and I can definitely tell that it's growing. Yeah, I also did just get a small little trim. So I was starting to develop that mullet and I was not having it because I'm sorry, I'm from that time when mullets were a no-no and I'm still standing by that. So I did not want to go there. I had them just cut off a little bit in the back of my um, neck. Right now I'm growing um, this mob out. <laughs> Um, and yeah, while I'm doing that, I'm not doing this whole mullet thing. So I did have a little trim. I'm going to give you a little spin to show you what that looks like right now. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and for still tuning in. Bear with me when videos are a little bit sparse in between, but, um, I promise you I will upload again eventually. So just stick with me and, um, watch out for my next video. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.